Hello and welcome to News Clip. A case of sexual harassment at workplace was reported by a Tata Consultancy Services employee in 2018 while in deputation to the United Kingdom. Disheartened with the Internal Complaints Committee report on the case, she appealed against it in the Labour Court in Kanjipuram and the case is under procedure. Recently, the Union of IT Employees, known as Unite, released a statement saying the management is extending tacit support to the accused. To talk about it, we have with us General Secretary of the Union of IT Employees, Alaganambi Welkin. Thank you. Thanks for uh, thanks very much for joining us. Hi. Uh, can you begin Hi. by uh, telling us what exactly is the appeal against the TCS's in, uh, internal complaints committee? What is the accusation uh, against the ICC? So the uh, case has been uh, running for almost uh, three plus years. And the incident happened almost four years before. So almost an year TCS took to investigate this case internally using this uh, ICC committee. And uh, they used multiple methods which are not uh, in the guidelines, which are against the guidelines of ICC. That created a lot of mental pressure on the uh, affected employee. And they finally concluded by saying that this affected employee is mentally not stable. So we are cancelling this ICC complaint. So the challenge, the appeal against uh, ICC report is this, that the, uh, the action of the ICC, uh, the violation of the ICC led to uh, uh, this mental stress and which on which, because of which the, uh, the ICC got, uh, ICC uh, illegally closed that uh, case. So the, the appeal is against uh, uh, challenging the case and uh, the challenging the ICC report. So TCS oh. is continuously pursuing to uh, state that these uh, the decision what they what they took by the by their ICC uh, is right and they they are standing by their decision and uh, our uh, unions multiple unions multiple social organizations in support of the uh, victim are uh, trying to uh, challenge that and trying to bring justice to the uh, the affected party. So how has the court proceeding been so far? Uh, in as a new a statement by the unite has said that the uh, administration is extending tacit support to the accused uh, is that the case as i told the case is uh, going on almost for 3 years and in the 3 years the tcs has consistently taken a stand that whatever they decided is right they are not getting into a position where a, a complaint came in so they want to take uh, or hear both these sides and take a uh, right uh, ethical decision but instead of that they want to safeguard certain people in the management and by the way they are trying to defend the decisions which they uh, purposefully told that uh, employee is uh, psychologically unfit to file a case or because of which she has filed a case uh, case and uh, moreover the uh, tcs also maintains that uh, this employee has filed uh, this case because of the rating, uh, the performance appraisal rating, uh, which this employee has got in recent times during the uh, when she filed the case. But uh, as we all know, and uh, the union is consistently uh, accusing that the performance appraisal process is a black box. There is no transparent mechanism. All the ratings are all uh, arbitrary and it is taken uh, without any uh, factual data uh, into consideration. So because of which, the decisions are subjective and uh, challenging the uh, this performance appraisal uh, in, uh, decisions are all legally valid. At the same time, quoting that for an ICC, which is a harassment case and uh, uh, trying to uh, picture the victim as somebody to gain out of gain some uh, benefit out of this case is something uh, fundamentally wrong with the ICC committee in TCS. And uh, the TCS is continuously maintaining that stand, even in the court. They are they have multiple times denied to file a report. They they are trying to buy time by getting vaida vaida vaida, and uh, they are trying to move the delay the case as much as possible. Their strategy is to delay as much as possible so that the victim itself will uh, drop the case, citing that no justice will come to them, come to the uh, victim. So uh, that is the uh, situation right now. 
even on uh, even for the leaves which uh, the employer should provide for a victim to attend a case which are uh, given by the law is not provided to the employee so uh, sometimes on uh, permissions sometimes on the work from home situation uh, the employee is working in the court sometimes on uh, unforeseen or uh, sometimes on pay, uh, unpaid leave this uh, on the loss of pay the employees uh, employee the affected employees attending the case so this is the situation on which the case is uh, going and this is how they are favoring the uh, the accused so now we were talking about tcs and a uh, harassment case in tcs but what about other big uh, it companies is it also rampant in a lot of places what are some of the common complaints that uh, unite has received in the recent past the sexual harassment com- uh, complaints uh, they are they are very uh, prevalent in it companies uh, though there is a general picture that it's a modern company a modern industry and uh, people are well educated the harassment on uh, specifically on women is still uh, predominant and uh, though there are a number of complaints uh, filed on the icc uh, against the harassment there are very few uh, which uh, gets uh, justice because this icc internal complaints committee itself not constituted on basis of the guideline there should be some activist in it but what the companies are doing is they are bringing in an ngo who basically are the outsourced entity of this uh, icc cell so they prepare documentations they give you a report they give you a training so they give you a package uh, they give a package to the mnc saying that see i take care of all your icc problems you don't need to worry about that that is completely against the icc uh, the point of having an icc people uh, or the employees should be trained should be uh, created awareness but it's all just a single video or a single uh, uh, or a few question and answer based uh, awareness session which happens yearly once it's not an ongoing uh, process uh, a few examples i could quote which came to the union recently are one uh, this uh, accenture in uh, chennai they have a huge data entry uh, processing unit which employs outsourced company employees into uh, accenture and these companies ma- uh, the accenture uh, managers are denying resignations so resignation the, uh, by legal terms there is no mechanism to deny you the resignation is a notice but these companies assume that these employees are their slaves and they demand that only if they approve an employee can resign uh, the job so when a, a female employee uh, uh, sent a notice of resignation uh, the this accenture who's not even a direct employee that employee of this uh, person has denied the resignation and has told even if it is your marriage you need to give me proof and even if it is a marriage work till the marriage day and only uh, then i can uh, think of uh, relieving you so it's complete it's, it's also an harassment uh, it's a form of harassment which is not physical in nature but it is mental and uh, the, uh, the the prevailing idea is sexual harassment or generally uh, physical and uh, advancing of uh, physical uh, physically advancing but even these kind of uh, denying opportunity or uh, forcing certain decisions on top of people based on gender can be also considered as harassment so uh, accenture is one uh, reason and second the zoho company where uh, the zoho one of the uh, tamil nadu's famous uh, company and uh, termed as the unicorn of uh, india as well so that company is uh, we are hearing multiple reports saying that uh, the employees are women employees are uh, repeatedly uh, in a in a most natural sense being discriminated uh, there is not not even a sense of uh, equality prevailing in the workplace the and uh, the gender sensitivity is null uh, in zoho uh, environment Uh, even when an employee tried to complain against uh, their delivery head of sexual harassment the icc and the hr tried to uh, try to make them uh, not complain and which made this em- uh, this employee resign from the job but at the last moment this employee tried to bring out this issue to at least their colleagues in different teams through an email then the issue started spreading out to the employees 
immediately the uh, employer started sending an email to the employers in a threatening way saying that if uh, if somebody has problem reported to hr or the concerned body like icc if they are not then and if they are complaining against uh, a certain uh, delivery head or a manager we will file a case against them for damaging their reputation which is again discouraging uh, uh, you considering the zoos work culture uh, which is already uh, pro patriarchy this uh, email is again threatening employees and uh, specifically women employees who wants to come out and uh, third the enforces in us uh, cases uh, ongoing right now uh, which uh, talks about gender discrimination and age discrimination happening so even in us enforces uh, uh, says to their recruitment uh, head that if a woman has a kid don't recruit and if a woman or a man uh, is reaching 50 or above 50 years of age don't recruit so such uh, uh, discrimination on gender basis or various forms are happening and these are all not physical advancements so uh, such kind of uh, actions are or such kind of uh, events are happening across the industry and it is more worse in the it enabled uh, sections where data entry operators uh, e publishing uh, medical coding uh, companies are uh, high these uh, harassments are uh, uh, it's a daily affair and verbal abuse is something uh daily affair of these uh, data entry bpo and call center uh, companies given such discrimination uh, especially gender basis uh, what are the demands that the unite is placing uh, to these companies to these big uh, it corporations what what should be uh, what should initiatives should be taken all these companies uh, so they maintain uh, at least women employees gender wise at least women employees ratio to 30 percentage or 40 percentage depends on the company at the lower most of the pyramid so when the hierarchy goes up the companies uh, uh, the representations are almost 10 or less than 10 percent so th- they show uh, we can it is very clear that if you are a woman you can't ascend in the uh, career and if you are a woman you will not have equal opportunity inside the uh, uh, companies and you will not have equal pay as well so gender uh, inequality report of world economic forum states that at this rate if corporations and government uh, goes at this rate it would take at least 200 years for us to reach a equal pay equal opportunity uh, for at least w- men and women uh, forget about all other uh, uh, gender minorities so uh when and women if, who are at least 50 percentage of or equal of the population if for even for them if it takes 200 years which is almost like uh, virtually saying it won't happen in uh, in the generation to come so uh, this is the state and uh, any uh, drastic we, what we think is we need a drastic measure it should start with giving a representation uh, to genders uh at least and uh, from genders or even all social uh, identities we would uh, a gender wise representation is required caste wise representation is required so all discriminations can be addressed only by giving representation at the decision making level so private sector reservation would be the first step and a meaningful step to address this issue apart from that this icc constitution uh, uh, constitution of the icc is again just for name sake it is not uh, uh running or uh, act, doing its activity as per the guideline so we need accountability more accountability to the icc the fine amount is only 50000 which is not agreeable for uh, mncs like tcs 50000 is nothing so uh, that sh- it should be proportional to their income so uh, 50000 cap should be removed it should be proportional to their income 5% 10% which is what practiced in cyber security uh, well, uh issues when a cyber security uh, issue happens the company has to pay certain percentage of their uh, income not 50000 100 rupees or something like that fixed amount so that should be practiced and this ngos uh, used as a uh, icc should be avoided so uh, there should be an activist uh, who uh, should preside the who should be part of the committee 
and the representation of uh, women should be maintained as per the uh, guideline and uh, the sensitivity of the information is one another uh, uh, highlight we want to bring in when an icc case starts the uh, there should be confidentiality but everybody in the company will immediately know that a case has started which should not be the case only after the uh, t- in, uh, a decision has been made it can be made public based on the need and uh, uh, right now the icc is being uh, there for just for name sake and it should be uh, followed the all the details of the guideline should be followed and if a case has been filed the the uh, the one who filed should be asked whether the decision is satisfactory or not and data that data should be publicly out if it is not out then definitely all these cases and decisions are taken in favor of the employers in subjective understanding of the uh, men that should be uh, contested and that should be uh, fought against thanks a lot for throwing insight into uh, what happens in big it companies thanks welcome and thanks for joining us thank you bye